the title of this video, you know that today I'm going to show you how to install a sink fixture or sink faucet, whatever you guys like to call it. But let me tell you about Moen. Moen has a lifetime warranty in all of their fixtures, okay? So that means if something happens, like, you know, one of your kids are messing around with the faucet and they didn't know their own strength and they broke it, you can call Moen at any time and they will completely replace that fixture for you or send you a replacement part for that fixture. So let's get into my update. So as you guys can see, this is the current faucet we have right now. I love it. Um, this was one that I did update, but the one that I've chosen to update this one is a little bit different as well. So let's get into her really quick. So first and foremost, we've already discussed Moen and why I love them. Read up, do your research if you're going to do updates on your projects in your own home, whether it's fixtures or whatever it might be, and choose who you think is best for you. So again, if you have directions, just like a recipe, if you can read it, you can do it. Now let's get into... A little content so this is your hose and this is going to be your weight that's gonna weigh your hose down additional faucet super cute this one has two buttons here one to spray one for a stronger spray and this one right here is to stop let's get into this right here okay so this little tool is like a wrench for any of your fixtures that you want to update Anytime you purchase something, whether it is a faucet or whatever it may be, whatever pieces they give you, make sure you keep them. Because if you need to replace something, you need this piece to be able to do that. This piece right here is awesome for being able to squeeze into those little areas that are up underneath your cabinet where your hands can't reach. This tool right here comes in super handy. This also comes with a piece that goes up underneath here, so it's gonna slide up on that, and this will sit on your counter. So let's get into how to install a faucet. Okay, so I'm starting up underneath my cabinet. I've already put down some towels just in case anything drips, just to protect that. Unplug anything over here under my cabinet that um, is gonna be near the water. This is my dishwasher and this is my disposal. And I'm just gonna move both of those plugs out of the way because I don't want any of that to be near water. If water does come out there, you wanna prevent any type of electrical shock. So before I get started using anything, I want to number one, make sure that my water is turned off. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. It's right here. So you want to make sure that you have that completely turned off. So whatever um, the way that your water is, do it the opposite way. For mine, I have to pull it up to stop it. Yours, you may have to push it down. I'm going to grab the weight that's on this one and I'm going to unsnap it so that I can remove this so that whenever I pull the faucet up, this isn't gonna stop me from being able to do that. So next, I'm gonna take this area right here that is connected to the faucet up underneath and I'm going to unscrew that. And now we're moving on to the fixture. So I brought a flashlight in. Sorry y'all if it's looking like a puppet show at this point, it really bothers me, but I want you to be able to see underneath here. So I'm gonna be coming right here where this piece is and I'm going to turn it around so you can see that there's a little button if you can can you see that there's a little button right there that we want to push and separate these two pieces so just put that right here and as you can see um, the water is going to drain okay so after both of your faucets have dripped and drained into this bucket um, you want to then move the bucket out the way because you're going to go in the cabinet and you're going to unscrew from underneath the faucet the fixture. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now that I've gotten everything disconnected, is I'm going to come here and I'm going to pull this portion out. This piece is one of the pieces that's in the bucket. I'm going to pull it straight out and let it continue to drain. Okay, so now we're underneath the cabinet right here. If you're looking, you can see where there's a little washer right here. So we're going to use that tool that I was talking about in the beginning, and we're going to slide that up and unscrew this washer. I've gotten it in, so I'm going to just push it up and unscrew. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, so I've gotten everything unscrewed. I've unscrewed this washer underneath my sink, so this should be ready to come out. And out she goes. So I have taken everything out and attached my faucet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring this plate in and you're just gonna lean that over as best as you can because your fixture is gonna go inside of that. I've taken the hose out of the packaging. Look at your faucet to see how it connects. It's gonna connect here. So I'm gonna slide this piece through this guy and then I'm gonna screw this piece on. Lift up the faucet and you're just gonna feed through the hose until it comes out on the bottom. Like right here, this is where it'll come out. 
and you're just gonna pull that through until it goes halfway up because we're gonna screw the other piece in. So now I'm gonna take this piece, grab it and pull it down. And then we're going to take this and then set it into the hole that we just were talking about. To make this easier, what I'm gonna do is just wrap everything together. I'm gonna feed it through this and then I'm gonna feed that through the hole here. All right, now I'm just gonna take these three, feed those through down there through once they get underneath I can straighten everything out and then reverse what we did to remove it to attach it all right so now here I've gotten the two washers that are gonna go up and the little piece is gonna screw in and I'm gonna slide those up this hose and then screw them in I've self tightened it a little bit until I tighten it all the way up that orange metal piece it is not going to be tight then I'm gonna use that same gray tool from the beginning and I'm going to tighten it all the way as tight as it can go so there's not going to be any moving on the top part. I got everything screwed up flat now I'm going to bring in the gray piece and just tighten it a little bit more. Take this piece and connect it to the hot side of your sink. Hot side to the hot side. This piece is going to go to my cold side. My cold side is right here. And as you can see, if you're under your cabinet doesn't have the um, color coding like mine does, you know, hot and cold, just make sure you're reading actually on the hoses. The one that says hot is the one you need to be looking for first. And then, of course, you know, look for the other one and connect the cold to that. you turn it back on have that bucket underneath here so that you don't have a problem with leaks okay um you have your towels like mine underneath here so you shouldn't have an issue but you just want to make sure you always want to make sure so now i am going to do this really quick i'm going to grab my bucket set it back underneath both of these and then i'm going to turn on the hot and turn on the cold and see if i hear any water flushing through if i do then you're going to tighten more I'm going to turn both of them back on so if there's any leaking the water is going to go in here he's going to push mine down and then as you hear you heard the water come through there's no leaking okay so I'm going to just move this guy back same for this one I'm going to push this down and then as you hear you heard the water come through there's no leaking and I'm going to turn it on and show you guys that it works absolutely love it On to the next project. As always, thank you so much for watching. And you can follow me on any of my social medias at Ellie Inspires. If you like videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions, pop them down below. And until next time, be inspired.